I recently had a question from a viewer and they asked, hey, is there a way to make the dollar sign appear on the same line with the path and not on a new line? Because it's occupying too much space. And so what they're getting at here is how do we customize the bash prompt? And I think it's a good question. So I'll show you what they're getting at. See this, uh, the prompt here, I've got Visual Studio Code running and I've got the prompt, you know, John at extra-neo. And just as the user said, the dollar sign is actually below that line in the path. So the question is, how do we get the dollar sign up on the same line? Now, the path is, or the prompt is defined by a series of variables, and one of them that's gonna, that we're concerned with today is PS1. So we'll echo out dollar sign PS1. And you can see this long string of characters. We're gonna copy this, and then we'll, I'm gonna break it down and explain it. So let's put it up here and then we'll leave one down there as well. So this first, this first sequence here, uh, this, these two characters here, the backslash and the open square bracket, that is, uh, that's telling the terminal that we wanna have, what's gonna follow that are non-printing characters and these characters can be used to configure the terminal. So, um, We've got, we've got this, you know, the beginning of non-printing characters, and then the backslash here, closing uh, square brackets, means to end, you know, the non-printing characters. So I'm going to break that up like that, and then you might recognize this. This is a new line, backslash end. That means a new line, and and then again we've got the beginning of non-printing characters, and then we have these the sequence of characters that configure that are configuring the terminal. Um, so I'm gonna split this up again over here. There's the other new line, and we'll just leave it like that for now. So this first bunch here actually sets the title of the terminal window. This here, backslash w, is, uh, is, is gonna output in the title the working directory. Now, we don't have in the terminal for uh, Visual Studio Code, we don't actually have uh, a title for the terminal, but if you bring up uh, Sigwin, like the bash, the, like you know the terminal that comes with Sigwin, you'll notice like that character up there. That's the tilde character. That's the home directory. That's the path. That's the working directory. If um, I've got a set of directories here, I think yeah, you know I've got a bunch here. And you'll notice when I when I change directory to that, it's outputting that in the title, right? So that's why we've got. Um, uh, this backslash w there to print out the working directory and then after that this backslash a from what I understand is that it's a it's a termination of the title so that's this here sets the title of the terminal window then we have a new line character and you'll notice that we actually do see that new line character you notice when I hit enter you'll notice right we've got two new lines that are kind of if you want a more compact view these are kind of getting in the way so what we can do is we can remove those new line characters to customize the prompt. We're gonna leave everything else as is. And so this is the first new line character. We'll get rid of that one. And then at the end here, right before the dollar sign, we'll get rid of that one as well. And we're gonna say PS1 equals, and then open quotes, and then we're gonna close quotes. And we'll copy that, and we'll paste it in. And now you'll notice that we've got everything on one line. And when we hit enter, you'll notice it just goes from one line to the next, right? Now, uh, we've set that, but what happens if we launch a new terminal? Let's see, if, we, if I do this again here, you'll notice that I've got two terminals open, and but I still have that old PS1 set, right? You can, you can see it evidently, but if I echo it out, I mean, we've got the same the same one that we had right there's those new lines so the question is how do we make those how do we make those changes permanent and the way to do that um, is to edit a file called dot bash rc and i'm going to open it up in in uh, visual studio code here but you can use any editor to do this and this is going to be in the home directory of your account your user account and so i'm going to just go code dot bash rc and you'll notice code is the, the name of Visual Studio Code. That's the executable name. And when I enter that, 
it loads up you know the dot bash rc file this this file is run every time you launch a terminal and so what we want to do is we want to copy in the the ps1 so that every time the terminal is run that ps1 uh, variable is going to get set so that you always have you know the, the prompt that you want now if i i've got uh, sigwin here i'm going to close this window and when i start it up again i'll just make this a little bigger and you can see that we've got this terminal now that's it's always on that it just takes one line it doesn't take three lines like it did before i'll close that and go back here so um now, if we if I close this this uh, terminal and I open up a new one, there it is. It's all on one line. So that's one way to get it all compact. And of course, there's further customizations that you could make. I'd like to change the color. Say, like this here is is, is green, right? So I, I know that if I change this to 34, and I save it, and I'm going to exit out of here, and I'm going to Let's see, load ba uh, sequin bash again. Uh, now we've got that, you know, the, the username and host is blue. And uh, if I, you know, launch sequin up again, with, you know, from the, uh, the terminal, same idea. And maybe, maybe I want to put, I'd like to put some brackets around, around this. How would I do that? I would say I want like so I want square brackets around each end of the of the prompt. So I'm going to do one at the beginning and one at the end, and I'll save that. Another way to reload it. Let's see if this will do it here. I can I can source the dot bash profile or sorry bash rc, and there you go. It's you know when you log in it loads up, but that's another way to load that file. And you can see now that I've got this prompt, right? And if I load up Sigwin, you know, and let's just make it a little bigger for you, you can see that I now have my customized prompt. So that uh, that's a like a brief introduction into uh, setting, you know, customizing your Bash prompt. And if any of you have any questions, uh, you know, please feel free to ask. And and you never know, I might make a video about it. Thanks.